It's Isis. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. How many Isis if you're new here? If you're not new here, hey, welcome back, guys. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial. I never did a hair tutorial on my page. I feel like it's because I just didn't have my natural hair out really since I started like my YouTube channel again. I don't really know, but yeah. So today's video, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how I do my top knot bun, or just like how I get my hair in a ponytail, or just like basically the top knot bun. I really don't do this hairstyle often because I just feel like my head looks so freaking big with it. But I don't know. I just wanted to give you a tutorial on how to do it because everyone's like, how do you do your bun? How does your bun get so big? Like, how do I do it? Da, 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 da. But yeah, it's just gonna be like a voiceover talking video. Something a little calm, light for y'all. And just honestly, just me doing my hair for y'all. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit notification bell so you can post a new video. If you want to see more of me and connect with me outside of YouTube and become an icicle, make sure you follow all my social medias at Isicely. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is oiling my hair and taking out these two braids just to avoid any frizz. That's why I use the oil. And I usually have, like, five braids in my head before I do the ponytail, but this time I just had two braids around. So, yeah, that's what I'm just going to be doing. And also, I'm using the African Best Herbal Hair Oil. I think that's what it's called. So, yeah. All right, so once the two braids are out, now I'm just gonna go through my hair a little bit and then I'm gonna section my hair into two sections. Anytime I do a low ponytail, high ponytail, anything like that, I make sure to just section my hair into two because it makes my hair slicker and it's easier to work with. All right, so this next step, I'm gonna try to explain it as best as possible. Basically what I always do, I'm gonna stretch the perimeter of my head so that the part, I guess, can lay flatter and there's no bumps or no crevices and this is why i'm gonna get like my first hair tie you're gonna see in a few and i'm just gonna hold the top so that i'm able to just have the bottom lay way flatter and i'm also just getting the comb and combing out the part like that was down the middle so yeah <laughs> So the next steps are pretty self-explanatory. I'm just getting my extreme gel. I've been using extreme gel for the longest time ever, maybe like two years. And I'm just putting gel around, again, the perimeter of my head, making sure that's super flat and just brushing through it. Also, this brush is my holy grail. It's like a con ear brush my mom has had for years and it works so well, but literally just putting gel all over the perimeter. And when you do the sections, make sure to like put the gel in the back of the first section on top if that makes sense because that's what's also going to make it lay way flatter so once i brushed and put the gel all over i'm basically just going to take another hair tie and do a loose ponytail basically and that's just going to hold the first section in place before i move on to the back and again, this is very repetitive. The back, I'm literally just gonna do the exact same thing at the front. So I'm gonna stretch out the back, just making sure that there's no bumps. And then I'm gonna put the gel and just make sure that there's no bumps and that it's super flat. You want it to be super, super flat. And also very stretched, because when it's really stretched, your puff or your ponytail or your bun is gonna be way longer. Also, not so much on my hairy face. I know I got a hairy face, so just ignore that. But continue on with the video. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Often. But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me I'm talking late night for you let me lay a great job on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you Just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Just 
So I literally changed the angle of my camera. I wish it was like this the whole entire time, but that's besides the point. But now I'm just working on the perimeter and getting it all slicked down once I just connected both of the ponytails. And I'm mainly focused on perfection and making sure everything is slick. No baby hairs, no flyaways are all over the place. So now I'm gonna be doing my edges. I just, I'm just gonna swoop them basically. It's not really crazy. I don't do crazy edges or none of that. I'm literally just with my edges. Like I said previously, I feel like the bun makes my head look humongous. And me personally, I just love like the puff look. I always love the puff. It looks super cute. But this is more about the top knot. And I'm just doing my little widow's peak. And I'm about to show y'all my secret trick to how I make my cute little top knot bun. All right, so to achieve the bun look that I always do, I'm just gonna take all my hair and hold it on the top, and then you're gonna get a tiny little black rubber band. And I don't know how to describe it, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just putting it, like I'm wrapping it around my hair, but not too tight, because it still wants to be loose. And you just cover your hair around the rubber band. Like, it's so easy, and then you just put a bobby pin, secure all like the ends or the loose pieces and if you want to have pieces sticking out then you can but literally that's how i do my top knot it's the little the easiest thing ever like people need to get on this and learn and i just taught y'all the secret trick and look how good it looks all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um it was kind of easy for me to do my hair this hairstyle honestly literally takes like 10 to 15 minutes on a good day if my hair is kind of not dirty but you know when it has product in it it molds better and things last longer in it so on a good day it's like 10 to 15 minutes but yeah this is how i do it and if i wanted to wear it the next day i usually just would take out the bun and then braid the hair that's in the ponytail but sleep with the ponytail still intact i guess and then wake up unbraided and then do the bun again but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want more hair videos if you guys want me to talk more when i do the hair videos of the voiceover I'm just trying to try out new things okay guys so i hope you guys enjoy make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you never post a new video if you want to see more of me and again connect with me outside you to become an icicle make sure you follow all my social medias or i say lean and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys love you, you see, I need you